So my friend actually came up with this idea. They were over here hanging out. They're kind of new to like the YouTube world. I've tried to explain it to them and I was explaining like how it's my job and all that. They've watched some of my videos, but I told them how, well, like what my next video was. And then two and two came together and he was like, let me choose the questions. And as he was going through, he was like, I don't understand most of this. What are they talking about? <laughs> Because there's a lot of like inside things between me and YouTube and they were just confused. But he chose questions, wrote them on paper, folded them up, and put them in here. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know a single question that's in here. I, I know you're watching. You better follow the rules. I gave one rule. I said, we have to have all genres. Like a freaking movie. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Should I hire my friend to be the question man? <laughs> I, I would say in the last like few years I guess um I massively have been thinking more about like if I was to go back to school what would it be for and what would I do without a doubt 100% psychology that topic to me learning it doesn't even feel like school it doesn't feel like a chore it, it feels like fun like I love psychology it is so interesting to me and that's how I know that like I'm passionate about it and so I actually, just a few days ago, started a class online or a course, a class, a course, same thing. And it has been a lot of fun so far. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, it obviously does cost money, but it's not going to put me, um, you know, it's not going to cost $30,000. <laughs> so you do get a, like a diploma a certificate um, after you complete this class and you pass it or whatever. So I am, I'm enjoying it so far. So that is something I wanted to update you guys on because I just feel like I want to be more productive with my time and I want to do something that could possibly, you know, put me in a better spot in the future because I just feel like I need to learn more. I need my brain to be in motion because I feel like it's just like mush. Like all I ever do is just like YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I feel like I just need to put like my time and energy also into other things that could be good for me. Am I still taking that psychology course? I am. I got a cookbook um, because I used to do HelloFresh and I recently decided to stop because I realized I was wasting quite a few of the meals. Um, I was receiving about five to six meals, sometimes seven a week, and I was wasting like three. That's not good, but I do want to learn how to cook more meals. And so I got Skinny Taste Cookbook. It's light on calories and big on flavor. Um, I chose this one because there's a lot of images. Like I like to see what the meal is gonna look like. And not only that, but it tells you how many calories is in each meal, which I love because I am trying to lose weight. I am losing weight and I am counting calories, so. I do not believe in tarot cards because they've always been wrong. Yes, they are, they've always been wrong. So I am super excited to announce that my tarot cards did come in the mail today. I'm gonna open them off a of camera, learn a little bit, read a little bit about it because there is a book in here. I just wanted to show you that I finally got them. Oh my god, I'm so excited to get into this. So I haven't like opened the cards yet, but I wanted to read some of the book first. And the first paragraph, if you have this guidebook in your hands, you're answering a call to connect with your intuitive wisdom. It's time to explore, find, and reconnect with a divinatory art that resonates with you. So I'm really excited. I'm going to give some of this a read. Even Feline's excited to see the cards, so that makes me happy. So update on my tarot. Um, my first one I ever did, like first beforehand, I wanted to look at each card, kind of connect with them and stuff. Um, but the first reading I decided to do was a past, present, and future. So I pulled a card for each one. And the present and future like definitely clicked with me. I felt something with that. The past one didn't. So um, yeah, I feel like that was a satisfying situation type deal. I enjoyed it, but I hope that my next reading, I kind of feel more connected with the cards more. I mean, two out of three cards, that's actually pretty good. So yeah, 
10 out of 10 recommend and all the cards are super cute and like inviting and I don't know I feel like I picked a really good tarot card deck and now Feline wants to get her own deck so I think that's cute <laughs> so I'm actually bullet journaling this year which is so weird I've always wanted to bullet journal I did this all by myself I didn't even need a ruler that is some queen shit so um, I literally just made this today because I finally just got up my notebook in the mail um, so I haven't written in it yet, but I will show you guys this if you guys are interested um, This is my weekly weigh-in. So I'm gonna write that in and then we have this little jar Where this is the pounds I've lost so every single time I lose a pound I'm gonna put a little heart in here and it's gonna be like a bunch of different colorful hearts And hopefully by the end of the year there will be 120 of them and then this one is uh, the weight that I need to go to reach my goal and down here I have, I did that, because you guys know, I did that. Stop lying. Um, so we're just counting down the 120 pounds. So every time I lose weight, say like I lose three pounds, um, I color in three squares. It's pretty simple. And my other bullet journal stuff, we can share that um, in a different video because this is just weight loss related. Okay, so quick Amazon haul. I got this like budgeting situation. I really want to like try budgeting with real money, real money, instead of just using like my bank or whatever. So, whoops, I'm dropping everything. It comes for this binder, it comes with a binder, it comes with a little, like little thingies to put your money in, little stickers that say like birthday, rent, water, health, electric. And then I got some pages for notes, some tabs. So that's cool. So I worked on my budget planner. So, so far, like what I'm going to do on these pages is just write like what my bills are, how much they cost, etc. So I have the income section, rent and utilities, bills, like electricity, my phone, internet, etc. Here we have entertainment, which is just going to be like my Hulu, my Netflix, all of my like random subscriptions that I have. Here's going to be groceries, like uh, toiletries, pet stuff. Here's like, <laughs> I call them goddess books. They're just things for me. Personal, beauty, clothing, shopping, whatever I want to buy. People always ask me if I budget um, money for just like the spending that I do and yes I do um housing is just like uh gonna be my part of my savings and then here is my savings for like taxes or um other important things so that is what I have going so far I don't know this is just a different way to budget I like very hands-on things instead of um always just like strictly doing it in the bank so yeah, I actually really love this. We're gonna see how this goes. This was very cheap, like maybe $8. So if it doesn't work out, okay, cool. $8 down the drain, but if it does work out, that's nice. So the horse used to bean bags and 